I am in my second term. It has been an extraordinary privilege for me to serve as the President of the United States. I cannot imagine a greater honor or a more interesting job. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. So there's a lot that I'd like to do to keep America moving. But the law is the law. And, and no one person is above the law, not even the president. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to life after being president. I won't have such a big security detail all the time. It means I can go take a walk. I can spend time with my family. I can find other ways to serve. I can visit Africa more often. They, the point is, I don't understand why people want to stay so long. Especially when they've got a lot of money. When a leader tries to change the rules in the middle of the game just to stay in office, it risks instability and strife, as we've seen in Burundi. And this is often, and this is often just a first step down a perilous path. And sometimes you'll hear a leader say, well, we're, I'm the only person who can hold this nation together. If that's true, then that leader has failed to truly build their nation. You look at Nelson Mandela. Madiba, like George Washington, forged a lasting legacy, not only because of what they did in office, but because they were willing to leave office and transfer power peacefully. And just as the African Union has condemned coups, and illegitimate transfers of power. The AU's authority and strong voice can also help the people of Africa ensure that their leaders abide by term limits and their constitutions. Nobody should be president for life.